Mama told her son to turn up. I said, okay, bet. Okay, RIP my grandma. She said one day you up next. So a couple months ago, I made a video on one of my favorite directors, and I thought it would be a good idea if I carried on these types of videos. So this video is about Paul Bennett. I'm going to break down his style briefly, and then I'm going to show you like an example of something that I think could end up on Lyrical Lemonade, I think. But I'm going to try my best at trying to recreate his style and put it in a video of my own. I'm going to show you his signature sort of 3D effect that he uses, and I'm going to show you the really easy way to do it. You can use any software. First things first, off the bat, this video isn't meant for like to create like Cole Bennett clones. I don't think anyone should be a clone of anyone else directly, but I think you can see what someone's done and you can get inspired by that and then you can sort of run with it and sort of try and create your own sort of style. I credit him quite a lot for the reason why I do some of the things that I do in some of my videos. Before we get into the video, if you're new here, my name's Bupe, I'm a videographer. If you're new here and that sounds good, then subscribe bro. On the road to 1K, let's get straight into it. So I'm gonna break down his style into the video editing aspect of things so first things first he's got a really good sense of color and theme throughout all his videos what i've noticed a character in his videos is like the color itself and the style itself so if that's from Leroy's video with like the whole like the patchwork film sort of rugged aspects to being like in the blueberry fago video a really colorful bright sort of video color theme can range from just being the style of your title the color of your title to the colors of on anyone's clothes to like the color grading. You also got these really cool wide angle scenes. I only got a 12, so I only got a 12 millimeter. It's not really as wide as some of the things he uses probably, but it's more like a 20 millimeter because of the camera. But some of his shots he uses these really cool uh, wide angle, wide angle lenses to get some really cool looks. Um, I definitely want to invest in a better and a better wide angle lens. For the narrative of his videos, I think he's got some of my favorite like playful slash like comedic scenes. Cause like they're not too playful at the same time nothing's ever like way 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 too serious unless like it's meant to be which i think is really cool like everyone wants to look hard but i think what he does with like the playful sort of comedic aspect i don't know it just adds a really cool like dimension to it like what he does as well is a really cool sort of stop motion effect he uses that with like freeze frames um, sometimes he chops it back with like uh, like a cartoon effect i think like, i sort of try to use the cartoon effect and one thing that sort of covers a lot of the things that he does it's called masking. Uh, masking is basically just when you cut an image, like you cut around the image, um, and then you can basically do what you want with that like image. So you might want to like, you might want to create like a 3D effect, like he did with like the Bad Boys video. Just running with like masking stuff, you can really do a lot. And the one that we're gonna be covering today is a 3D effect. He basically adds 3D effects, 3D graphics, 3D images into his work. Like in the Money on Me video, I think he adds like growing dandelions, and he sort of like makes them look like trees. In the MIA video, the bats and the, the spider webs, and those are really cool. I don't know, I think he, it's really cool what he does with all the 3D objects, and I'm gonna show you a really easy way how to do that right now. Anyone can do this, and basically any software. I'm gonna show you how I do it, and how I learn to do it, and yeah, anyone can do it, um, and yeah, it's a really easy way to do it. Um, adding things that make the video flow better is always is always a positive. This is kind of like my audition to be on the Lyrical Lemonade team. If Cole Bennett sees this, tell me, let's run, let's run a London team, let's run a London team. So I'm gonna try my best to make a video that's Lyrical Lemonade worthy. All right, so I've got the clip loaded up right now. Got one clip that I've already used. I've got the Lenny, like the Lenny PNG. I found an image of it online and I basically just cut around that, uh, just masked around it. And then I've got an image of a like a like a big phone, like an old school phone. I don't know, I thought it looked pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I'll just sort of cut around that too as well. Um, so straight off the bat, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna desaturate it. Cause like the image is already like black and white. The the footage I'm working with is already black and white. So I thought let, I might as well, I might as well desaturate um, the, the extra objects too. Just so that it fits in with the image. Cause I think it might look a bit weird if like the phone's like in color and then, you know, compared against like the rest of the image i think it would look a bit weird so i've desaturated that so it's the same color as the background and now what i'm going to do i'm going to rotate it um this is going to be we're going to have three phones this is going to be the first phone try and make the timings of this really easy to do when you want to make things as easy as possible you're going to want to use like easy timings like so use round numbers um use like round numbers use whole numbers as like your timing for like each clip, like the, the duration of each clip. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keyframe 
the first phone so it rotates a bit I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the object in the foreground which is basically the closest it can be to the camera um, so here it is it's quite big and it's rotating uh, quite nicely um, I could add some shake but I'm not gonna add some shake I'm gonna try and make this as simple as possible um, so yeah I've, I've added a little a rotation to it I've keyframed it I'm gonna save it right now always always save your stuff I think I'm gonna keyframe it to be a bit you know a bit slower and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna scale it down I might make this to, this a mid ground actually so I'm gonna make this phone to be in the mid ground so I'm gonna scale it down a bit um, so that it can we're like pretending like it's in the mid ground like it's like next to him sort of thing so yeah then I'm gonna I'm duplicate this and then now I'm gonna make a bigger a bigger phone and I'm gonna pretend like this one is in the foreground um, so yeah I made this quite big as you can see and I flipped it because um, you, if you're adding like multiple objects you're gonna want to like change it up a bit but if you keep everything the same then it's gonna look a bit you know a bit weird so now I'm gonna duplicate the image again and I'm gonna create the furthest one out the phone that's gonna like, I'm gonna chuck this like right at the back um, so I'm gonna make it obviously really small you kind of see where I'm going with this further away the image is then you're gonna want to make it smaller um, it doesn't really work if you have like a big phone in the background unless the phone is really big but phones aren't really big um, so yeah for this I just want to create like a sort of floating um, like a floating simulation sort of thing um, so yeah here's the three phones I might make I might make this one actually a bit smaller just so that it's more realistic you want everything to be as realistic as possible and obviously this I'm making this as fast as possible for the purpose of this so obviously it's not going to turn out how it normally would. I'm just, I'm just doing this so you know you sort of get the get the flow of things. You get me? Right, I'ma save it again. But sometimes, sometimes it's be crashing. Like, just my laptop be mad crashing. I, I need to upgrade. Sometimes my laptop be like, like crashing. If you have that problem, let me know in the comments down below. But like, my laptop just be crashing sometimes. So like, I gotta make sure I'm always saving. Um, so what I'ma do? I'ma just set all the keyframes I set, like the rotation. I'ma set them to be smooth. You can do this on any software. You know, any software allows you to do that. Um, you just you just set the whatever like the keyframe you can to smooth. Um, or like if you have if there's like a drag, like a bevel sort of thing, then you might have to drag it. But yeah, in my software in DaVinci, all I do is just click a couple buttons and it smooths it smooth out the the sort of the keyframe for me. So yeah, I'm gonna just adjust a couple more things. Um, but as far as like rotation and stuff. We should be good. I'm gonna just adjust a couple more things, but as far as like the floating rotation aspect of it, we should be pretty much good. Um, so I'm gonna put a note down here. This is only a recent thing that I've picked up. I've started like writing notes to myself, like talking to myself when I'm editing. Like it's, that sounds weird. That sounds really weird, but it's helpful. So what I'm doing here, I'm writing a note to myself um, that at this point in the video, I'm gonna blur out the phone in the foreground and I'm gonna focus in the phones in the mid ground and in the background. So yeah, in my in my software, I'm adding Gaussian Blur. This is, Gaussian Blur is a very popular thing. It's basically in every single software. It's in GIMP, it's in Photoshop, it's in those are like photo editing stuff, like Gaussian Blur is in everything. Uh, so you just, just gotta look for it. Um, but yeah, so you're gonna wanna add it. So you're gonna wanna refer back to the note that you made or that I made and I'm going to click to this point in the video and I'm going to want it to blur. I'm going to keyframe it so that it blurs um, at this particular time for this particular clip. You're not really going to pay too much attention to this because I'm going to add camera shake. I'm going to add manual ca camera shake. Everything here is manual by the way. So there's no excuse. Like, I'm trying to make everything here like, as manual as possible. So I'm not using any effects. I'm trying not to use any too many effects. Um, so even the camera shake I'm gonna do will be manual, but yeah. Um, so now what you're gonna do, you wanna you wanna comp do a compound clip. Compound clip is in basically every software. It's basically just when you nest everything. It's called nesting in some softwares. Um, but yeah, you're gonna wanna nest or compound clip everything. So it's just in one solid clip. Um, so everything is just nested in that sort of clip. Or you could export the video and sort of do it again, but you might lose a bit of quality. So. You know, you sort of do this nesting technique. Um, so I'm gonna pay attention to the clip. I'm gonna do like a little zoom in. There's quite a lot of zoom ins in his music video. So I'm gonna zoom in to the clip 
and then I'm gonna still zoom in afterwards but I'm gonna change the keyframe so it slows down you can change the anchor point so that it's like it's more di directed on his face because like if I didn't change the anchor point then it, it, it could like zoom into his chest zoom into like his chain zoom into, the, zoom into his hands and uh, like you want to always try and like zoom into their face unless like you're trying to do something like alternative or like trying to I don't know you're trying to mix it up or something you're always going to want to try and focus on the face of, uh, of your subject so yeah so I try zooming in on my subject here and so far like this is looking decent already but there's obviously just a few more things you know there's a few more things that we need to add to make it to make it lyrical lemonade level you get me so so this one is like specifically for call like he like he uses like he uses like a character called Lenny and this is like a this is such like a, this is like the most like distinct thing there's always you know I'm always looking for Lenny fam I'm always looking for Lenny um, he just sort of like pops out of frame um, and that's like sort of building off his like personal brand and what he's doing with like his personal brand um, but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I've got a PNG of Lenny I'm gonna keyframe it so that it like he like pops into frame and then as soon as he pops into frame he goes back down so yeah it's looking really good right now so the last thing I'm gonna do the last thing I'm gonna do is add camera shake um, this is gonna take maybe like a couple minutes because we've got a short clip so I wouldn't recommend doing this with like long clips I like for the purpose of this video I want it to all be like manual so I'm gonna do it I'm gonna add camera shake manually I'm not gonna use any presets I got I'm gonna change the keyframe um, every 12 seconds like this just like this you might be here all day but it's worth it okay. so I'm gonna do it um, until about here and then I'm gonna go into the go into the keyframes and I'm gonna try and like smoothen it out um, so it kind of like resets to his original to the, the camera's original position which is zero zero that's why like you are always gonna want to change the anchor point if you want to readjust the image because like you always want to try and center it back to zero zero it just makes things easier just try and make things as easy as possible you, as you can for yourself uh, that would be my tip um, just try and make things as easy as possible for yourself um, there's a million things I could do to this image to make it better if I had all the time in the world but for the purpose of this video I wanted this, I wanted this to be a quick and really simple and easy way for anyone to sort of create this sort of 3D effect and this is what we get it's a really cool actually the camera shake is actually kind of jagged some people might like it I don't really I mean it's okay the camera shake is you know alright but yeah this is an effect anyone can do any software hopefully after I've showed you this you can go out and do this for yourself literally anyone can do this um, and yeah bro shout out to Cole Bennett you goat uh, let me know if you like you like this type of videos I'm kind of messing with like new type of videos like just diving into like uh, like just looking into like you know a couple people that like just like inspire like my work and stuff